Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be going over the the new Helix template, some of the updates that they've made to it, the functionality. I am not going to be going over installing the Helix template. If you guys are just now, you know, tuning in and you're not really sure on on how to get uh, your Joomla site set up with the Helix template, you can look back through some of my previous tutorials, and actually I'll put a link up. You can watch those and, and kind of catch up. What I want to talk about today is Helix has, uh, the Helix, the people, Joom Shaper, the makers of the Helix template, have added some really nice functionality into the Helix template to make it very simplified as far as you know modifying and using some of the short code whereas to before you would either a have to know the short code or b go to joomshaper.com copy the short code and then paste it and keep going back and forth you know copying short code pasting and then making you know your little adjustments to it so that it fits for your website well they've cut all that out now they have a plugin that will allow you to use their short code in a few clicks of the mouse. Let's uh, let's take a look at that real quick. I'm in the back end of my website, empowertechno.com. If uh, if any of you have been to my website lately, you will have noticed that it's down because I am making some major changes to my website. So bear with me on that. It'll be back up here shortly. But this is what I'm talking about right here. Uh, as you can see, this is my home page, and by the way, it's nowhere near being done. And, you know, this this is a short code to create columns, and I'll show you what that looks like on the front end. So, basically, I have three columns. One for this little graphic, one for this paragraph, and one for the button. Where before you would have to, like I said, go back and forth, back and forth, copying the short code. Now, you just come down here to the very bottom when you're ready to use the short code, click on the Helix short codes, and then select what short code you want to use. They're all in here. You can do video, the accordion, the carousel, the column. Pretty much every short code they have is in here. So let's say we want to use the gallery. So now it's going to say, how many columns do you want it to be? Okay, we'll make it three. Do you want to use the modal? Which basically means that when they click on the image, it's going to pop up in kind of like a light box. And then you can add, you know, you can add more galleries. If you click on this, it'll add, you, you know, you, you'll have two galleries. So let's just do one gallery for now and hit add short code. So here's our gallery. Right here is where you would put where the image is located. And you can get that just by simply clicking on images, click on a picture. So this is going to be at images backslash empowering. We'll just copy that. Control C, Control V, and then hit save. This is going to look kind of silly because I'm putting the gallery at the very top where you know you may want to put that somewhere else down at the bottom maybe even in the footer area I've seen websites where you know they have like a small gallery down there in a the footer area let's refresh the home page let's see what happens there it is you click on the image like i said there's your light box it's going to pop up and show your images now if you want to add more images because we are using three columns meaning that it would there would be an image here, here, and over here. One on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. If you wanted to add more images, all you would have to do is come back here and simply redo the, the gallery item source tag. I don't really want that there, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. But at any rate, it makes it so much handier to work with this template and to add extras to your to your web pages so much easier so much faster you know now all you have to do is just click on this button down here and then you know it pretty much adds the short code you may have to make some adjustments to it it's still good to know what the short code means um, so that you can work with it this is a plugin and you can get that by going to joomshaper.com clicking on the helix link at the top 
and then go to download and then go to download one more time and why is it not in here maybe it's under extensions it was in here the other day when I when I downloaded it okay I'm not really sure why it's not showing up under the download I just downloaded it the other day and started using it uh, probably not more than a week ago the only thing I can think of is either it's recognizing that I already have it I, I don't know how that would happen um, or for some reason they've taken it off I, just go there and check it out I mean as you can see you can see clearly right here I am using it and it is uh, it's, it is a plugin so you'll want to look for the helix shortcode plugin if you guys have any problems finding it let me know in the discussion and I will post a link to it on my website or on my blog or something like that but I will make it accessible for you guys to use I don't know why helix or uh, zoom, sh zoom shaper would take it down but who knows stranger things have happened so anyways go to zoom shaper go to helix go to download you should see it in here you should be able to download it separately as I did um, otherwise like I said just let me know in the discussion and I will uh, put a link to it on my website or on my blog probably on my blog for now since how my website is down um, which like I said this I should have this thing up and running in no time uh, but you guys will love it check it out use it um, like I said it makes it so much easier to you know to uh, to add extra little extra littles to your website um, to use the buttons I don't know about you guys but in the past I've always had trouble with the buttons um, I'll give you a quick demonstration here real quick on how easy it is to use the buttons now go to little short code plugin click on button click your button size let's, see, let's do a large button button type uh, primary success as you guys know primary is uh, the blue color um, the success I'm not really sure what color it is I don't know let's, let's check it out and then you pick your target Do you want it to open in the same window or a new window new window type in whatever you want it to say on your button and add the short code okay let's save that let's check it out on the front end so it's green I did not link this to any other page so if I click on it it's not gonna do anything but you'll notice that it actually does change colors when you hover over it very nice I I, I can't be more happy with this free template right now uh, they've made it extremely easy to use so there you guys go um, that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what you know Zoom Shaper has done with the Helix 2 template. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please put them in the discussion at the bottom. Otherwise, have a great day and uh, hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.